Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a function and we have to find its residue at z is equal to 1. Let us write the given function first, which we have already written here. First of all, we have to find the order of this pole. Okay, so I will express this function in this way, z plus 1 cube divided by z minus 1 cube. Simply, I took separate separate powers. So easily you can say z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 3. Let me write that thing. So therefore, z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 3, right? So to find residue, we have three different techniques. First, we have a definition. Using definition also, that means with the help of Lorentz series, you can find residue. Second, if you have a pole of order 1, we have one formula. And the third, if you have a pole of order m, we have a next formula. So this is pole of order 3. So I should go for the last formula. Let us use it. So let me write residue of f of z at z is equal to 1. The formula says 1 upon n minus 1 factorial. So the order is 3. So 3 minus 1, 2 factorial I should write. Limit z tends to 1. Since we are finding residue at z is equal to 1, we have to take derivative of order n minus 1. That means here n is 3, 3 minus 1, 2, 2. After that, z minus 1 cube f of z. Okay. So simply I use the formula. We got this one. Let us put the value of f of z and simplify it further. So this is equal to 1 upon 2 factorial is 1 by 2. Limit z tends to 1. Second derivative of z minus 1 cube. What is my f of z? This one. So z plus 1 cube divided by z minus 1 cube. So z minus 1 cube, z minus 1 cube will get cancelled. And inside the bracket, you will simply have z plus 1 cube. Let me write that one. Double derivative of z plus 1 cube only. So we have to take its double derivative. We will find first derivative. After that, I will go for second derivative. So this is equal to 1 by 2. Limit z tends to 1. What is its derivative? What is derivative of z cube? 3z square. So its derivative will be 3. Okay, let me write d by dz. Since only one derivative we have found out. 3 z plus 1 square will be there first derivative only we found out and again derivative of this bracket but the derivative of that bracket is 1 so I will not write it I will keep it keep as it is so 1 by 2 limit z tends to 1 so 3 is a constant and when we take derivative constants we take outside so that's why we have taken 3 outside let us take derivative of this bracket derivative of bracket will be 2, let me write here 2 z plus 1. Okay, since the derivative of z square is 2 z, the same thing we have got. But again, by chain rule, we have to take derivative of this bracket, which is 1. So that's why I will skip that part. So yeah, what will happen? This 2, 2 will get cancelled. Now I am going to put z is equal to 1 there. So what will we get here? 3, 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 6. This is required residue. Make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.